Good morning, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos, home of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here. Now, I know you're thinking, guys, we don't often do morning episodes, but there was some pretty interesting stuff posted earlier today that I thought tied in well with kind of a recent theme we've been discussing here on the channel, and I wanted to make sure I brought it to your attention. And we have a lot of other automotive news from last evening that I just didn't get a chance to cover yesterday. So enough about that, guys. Beard Nation, let's get ready to work. First up, guys, in big hyper car news, Manny Koshman uploaded the video, his first drive in his immaculate new McLaren Speedtail. This thing is racking up views like crazy, uh, well on its way to a million views. Uh, Manny has, uh, not really quietly, but he has become one of the larger automotive YouTubes, at least in per video views, that I can really think of. His incredible hypercar collection and willingness to show us uh, the ins and outs of the buying process, the driving process afterward, it is really Really, I would say second to none for the most part at this point. To be honest, there are only a few other creators, a Savage Garage, Triple F Collection, that do uh, anything like what Manny does on a regular basis. And regular basis is the key for me here. And the distinguishing part here is that we see a lot of hypercar collections on YouTube. Just think of any of Stradman's big hypercar collection videos where it goes and visits somebody else with crazy cars. But those people that own hypercars don't typically give up their day job uh, or have enough time to put out consistent hypercar content, which is what makes Manny Koshman's channel, as well as Triple F Collection and Savage Garage, so rare in automotive YouTube. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Incredible video by Manny, and you'll get a look at one of the most incredible looking McLarens ever produced. Total side note here, I think that people's opinions of the speed tail is changing for the better, for more positive uh, over the last couple weeks as deliveries start happening with more regularity, but that's just one person's opinion. Next up, guys, the second part of a cliffhanger episode from T.J. Hunt. People definitely gave him a little bit of grief about doing a cliffhanger episode. Nowadays, uh, very few people can get away with doing anything like that. Most people get very upset about that. It's just sort of the, the weird place that YouTube is in right now. But that being said, the video is fantastic. It's called He Rejected His New Car Surprise backfired. I'll tell you, it's a great video, guys. Some really fantastic moments. About the midway point through the video, we actually get an answer to whether or not uh, the guy accepted the new car or not. I think you will really enjoy it. Make sure to go watch the video. It's kind of the, the best parts of automotive YouTube, giving cars or parts or whatever. It's always a fun thing to see. Next up, guys, F Spot continues to make fantastic content. His latest video called First Major Mod on the Lambo Cop Magnet Exhaust Install. Uh, this is going to be a very good video for you guys if you like loud cars, if you like Lamborghinis, or just like watching F-Spot have fun with his Lamborghini after so many hard years uh, of doing car spotting for all of our enjoyment. Additionally, side note that has uh, almost nothing to do with F-Spot's video, uh, I have been made aware of new legislation that might be taking place uh, given what the EPA is trying to do. Uh, that might be its own video uh, going forward. It's a pretty serious topic if you like to mod your car cars and might eventually throw a lot of the places that do exhaust or tunes or any of that stuff out of business. We'll be talking about that very soon, but I want to make sure I really do my research on the subject before we talk about it with you. Next up, guys, not a purely automotive YouTuber, but whenever he does automotive, it's always fantastic. Yoon Olsen's next video, a uh, delivery of my new Rolls-Royce Phantom EWB. This thing is an absolute monster, and the reason why I recommend his vlogs is because they have a cinematic quality that is almost unmatched, uh, just about like capturing everyday life, lots of incredible drone shots, and every once in a while he has access to some insane hypercars. When the Koenigsegg Jumeirah came out, or however you want to pronounce it, uh, he was one of the first ones to have a really in-depth video on the car, along with a bunch of other Koenigseggs in the video. So if you've never checked out Ewan Olsen, make sure to do so. Like I said, like maybe one out of every like eight or nine videos is a car video. Video, but they're so well done when he does them. Next up, guys, Shmi won 50 more videos with Hennessy. His latest one called this Hennessy Corvette ZR1 HPE 1000 is as powerful as a Bugatti Veyron. Uh, and you know Shmi, guys, the guy never clickbaits. I can't think of a single time that he's ever done anything like that. So when you get a video title like that, you can be sure he's telling the truth. It's a great video by Shmi yet again. And also, uh, kind of a sidestep, still talking about Shmi here in a new section of my videos called 
called Teasers with No Context. I'm gonna show you this very completed Rubik's Cube and then tell you nothing else. Next up guys, Rich Rebuilds continues a very entertaining saga in his incredible video career. This one called Working on Our Homeless Assistant's Van While She Recovers from Surgery. Um, you gotta watch these videos. If you've never seen a Rich Rebuilds video, it's full of humor and a lot of expertise in the world of cars. Um, there's a lot to love in a Rich Rebuilds video. If you've never checked it out, make sure to go do so. This particular series has been a ton of fun to follow. Next up guys, we haven't mentioned Sam Crack in a while, but he's got a great new video out. Uh, I very much enjoyed it. It's called, I, I bought an as-is $90,000 Mercedes AMG at auction and got 50% off twin turbo C63S. I feel like if you want a good automotive rebuild channel with a lot of humor on top, Sam Crack is gonna be right up your alley. Uh, a lot of his recent builds, uh, BMW i8, a number of other BMWs have been a lot of fun to watch. And who else do you really know who's rebuilding an i8 in their, we'll call it spare time. Next up guys, I want to bring your attention to a post that Street Speed 717 made just earlier this morning and it concerns the big crash that we covered yesterday out at a Hershey automotive meetup. Now some of you guys will probably notice that we've been talking about uh, some bigger automotive crashes, especially the one in Houston uh, a couple weeks ago and sort of the impact that that's having uh, first on automotive events but also in how YouTubers uh, sort of display their content for the masses. A couple a couple of you guys in yesterday's video uh, pointed out that you didn't think that Street Speed 717 had a leg to stand on while doing a, a video about this crash. We covered his initial Instagram post yesterday. These comments seemingly were not lost on Street Speed 717, who took some time to reflect on the event and then put out a really long post about his new thoughts on the matter, saying that he's had a day to reflect on the events with his last upload, and here's what he'd like to say. Out of the driver of the 350Z, he gets it. We've all been there, myself included doing something stupid in a car is just part of growing up and being a car guy or gal. Some people just get luckier than others, and I know you never intended to hurt anyone. Accidents happen, and I'm sure you've learned a valuable lesson. Above all, no one was seriously injured or killed, and that's far more important than an event being canceled. Unfortunately, deaths have happened at other car and coffee events recently across the country uh, far too often, uh, which is why this behavior cannot be tolerated. He kind of continues to go on and talk about how rough it must be for this particular driver, but then he gets to a very interesting part where he talks about his own behavior, saying, also, I'm not 100% innocent here. What people see on the internet makes a difference, and the pressure to do something cool for the gram or Snapchat or TikTok, or whatever the kids are using these days, is higher than ever. People like me make it look like fun and games on YouTube, but tragedy can strike at any time. I enjoy going fast. I street race, I do burnouts and donuts, and I enjoy a good rip on my favorite back roads a few times a week. We minimize the risk by racing on open highways with little to no traffic and of course no pedestrians around. The empty country roads I use I know like the back of my hand and I also don't push my cars even close to their performance limit. I've been fortunate enough to have pretty extensive pro driver training through YouTube opportunities and I'm also fortunate enough to be able to buy some of the best performance cars on the planet. But, and but was in capitalization here, accidents can still and do happen. This is something I'll keep in mind going forward and it's something we should all remember. Thank you. Okay, so obviously after that long message, there's a lot to unpack here, uh, but for starters, I think it's a really good thing that Mike is talking about this particular thing and also talking about his own behavior. Um, there are many automotive YouTube channels that drive in ways that would not be normally legal, going over 100 miles an hour, etc. But one of the questions that I've had personally is does like highway driving at 100 miles an hour or more when there's no one around uh, the same or does it equate to doing crazy burnouts and sort of you know zero to 60s out at a particular event where pedestrians are very close to you? Well, I think that's a pretty tricky question in some regards. I will say uh, on sort of a deeper philosophical level, I don't have as much of an issue with someone endangering their own life with whatever actions they might take on their own personal time versus doing actions that might endanger others. Like I said, it's kind of a tricky question to answer because there's so many variables involved, but I want to ask you guys what you think about what Mike said in that long Instagram post. Additionally, are there other automotive YouTubers that you think are sort of repeat offenders in this area that are setting bad examples for a number of other, uh, we'll call them automotive fans on YouTube? Make sure to put your comments in the comments section below. And we're gonna to continue to talk about this as we see other behavior 
uh, that might be worth discussion. We'll make sure to bring it up. But if you see it, feel free to call it out as well. Next up guys, moving right along, VTune Garage has been crushing it lately with incredible rebuild. And one of their best videos as of late is painting the rebuild BMW M5 F90 episode seven. Uh, I don't know what it is that's sort of relaxing about watching the painting process of a car, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, VTune Garage has been just doing fantastic work lately, tons of new views and subs. If you've never checked out their channel, make sure to go do so. Next up guys, uh, the Smoking Tire. Phenomenal new video out from Matt Farah. Uh, the Bugatti Chiron Perspore is a 1500 horsepower, 3.9 million canyon carving missile. This is the one take. Um, the one take videos for Matt Farah have always been uh, one of his biggest view getters. This one is no exception. Uh, how often can you take out a brand new Bugatti Chiron? And on top of that, a Perspore. Uh, fantastic video. Uh, definitely go check it out. We'll have a link for his video in the description below. I think you're really going to like this if you happen to be a hypercar or just Bugatti fan. And last, but certainly not least tonight, guys, we have B is for a build, continuing the incredible off-road Huracan build, uh, building rock sliders for the off-road Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, there have been a lot of people that have wanted to claim off-road Lamborghini Huracans, uh, but the way the Beezer build is going about their build is truly different and very exciting to watch. If you've ever wanted to see something quite like that, uh, knowing some of the other crazy stuff that he's done over the last couple years, I imagine the finished product is going to look just out of this world and will gain a new level of notoriety to the Beezer build channel. And that's about all we've got for you guys today, uh, at least for this morning. We'll probably have an episode later this evening, and I'm actually thinking about doing a sort of a side episode on why you see so many title changes throughout automotive YouTube and the real reasons behind why people do that, uh, sort of new motivators over the last couple years. Um, it's something we don't dive into very often, but I think it's very interesting sometimes to talk about the behind the scenes stuff that you would not normally ever get a video about. Uh, it's something that we can do because we also do title changes on our videos all the time. And I think we can break down that topic and it's something I think you guys will enjoy watching. Anyway guys, that's all I've got for you today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you love supercar and automotive news. Uh, and make sure to like the video too. It helps us out in the algorithm. I gotta keep remembering to ask for that. Liking helps so much. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you later this evening. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy, and I'm all out of breath. Bye.